Hey there guys, today's going well, my name is Rotor, and welcome to Pacific Drive. I've been looking forward to this game for a while. Um, I don't remember anything about it. I know it is a survival driving game. Three words, one of which is just implied based on the videos that I do, but th three words regardless that have interested me for a while. Uh, I don't remember what game I was looking up. I was looking up something. That led me to this, and then shortly after this, there were two other games, one of which is also available, and I may or may not check it out, and another one that is coming soon. Uh, so expect to see at least one more game like this in the nearish, maybe, future, but I've really been looking forward to this one, so I wanted to jump in, check it out, and uh, maybe make a decision on whether or not this will be a multi-part or if we'll stream it tomorrow. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and unnatural encounters. In 1955, the government walled off the section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. So it got bigger, and then the government backed out. But it's like walled off. What happened inside was never disclosed. Okay. So then how do we get it if it's closed? Uh, okay. The Olympic Peninsula, 1998. Wait. Streamer mode. Please and thank you. Okay. Wipers. Anything else in here I need to know about? Is there a way to turn the radio off? Okay, so I'm coming in with a van. I know from all the art and even on the title screen, um... It's mainly like a station wagon, so... Whee! Okay. Uh, it's a little... The steering's a little stiff. I think that's how we would uh, describe it. What's this? Lights. Can I have a better look at that stuff over there? Ooh, I can. Okay, so we don't go down this road. So I'm looking... I'm looking here, so this is presumably where we came in. We follow this road all the way up to here. Uh, how did I... Okay, that's fine. Ooh, what's that? Vehicle regulations. Alright. Okay, I'm just gonna drive there. Uh, so that way we can get to the survival elements. Ooh, it's raining. The wiper blades. Yeah, but this van... At least it's very. Oh, there's just buttons for this stuff, is there? Oh, found the horn. Ah, this is gonna be the border for the exclusion zone. Okay. Still not entirely understanding how we get in there. What's that say? Hold on. Back it up. Restricted area, authorized personnel only. That's fine. I think we're authorized. I don't know, how are we gonna get in? It's like a U-Haul. God, this game, honestly, it is beautiful. Car. The music's really loud, though. I will say that. Might need to turn it down a little bit. I feel like it's a bit overpowering for the, uh, the vibes we got going on here. Already on. Yeah, I'm gonna just... I just want the cars to feel like a car, you know? Yeah, and, oh, look at that. Look at that lighting. It's so good. I love this. Ooh, ooh, sign. Sign. I want to read it. Hi... 
R1 levels. Extreme caution advised. Also, dogs. Hey, Pacific Drive. All right, let's get on in here. Oh. Okay, I think we... I guess the exclusion zone doesn't like the radio. This will be where I guess the government used to be, and then they backed out. That side is illegible. I'm gonna guess that's intentional. Do these other buttons do anything? No. <laughs> what is that? All right. I'm guessing it probably... Oh. The van was kind of pulling towards the fence there. Yeah, I'm gonna guess it probably relates to however we end up inside. What are we doing here? Like, we just kind of got dropped off on a ferry in a van. Oh. Oh. My van dead. Oh. Hello? Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, gas can. And I guess that's how we get inside. Okay. Because whatever is in there isn't being contained? <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to swap over to the keyboard for a bit. <laughs> oh. Find transportation. Hello, wheel. Goodbye, wheel. Oh, it's my van. And I'm not entirely convinced that I wasn't just renting that. Could have been uh, pretty cool if you didn't just rip it to pieces. Whatever you are. Wherever you are. Hey, camera. No, that's not a camera, is it? No, it's a headlight. Okay, I'm guessing this is, like, bad for me. It's probably, like, all radioactive and stuff, and I probably shouldn't be here. Can I jump? Hail. Okay. Yeah, there's eh, still some red borders. Kick. It's like punching, only with your foot. Oh, car. Okay, oh. here we go. Someone out there? Tobias. Uh, what a swan, eh? Uh, never mind. Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. Uh... Is this in the car? the wheel back. What wheel? Oh. Oh. Okay. Where's it go? Here? Install. What was that? Okay. I keep hitting F instead of E. That's my bad. That's my bad. Cook, located in mid zone sector B. 
Do you read me? I'm picking up your distress signal in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around Sector E. Hey, Francis, come here! Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. Something. Someone. Thank you, Tobias. Alright, let's see. Hey, uh... we got a live one! Hey, do you copy? Hello? Hello? Is this thing working? I don't I don't see a radio. They, they, they don't have a transmitter. Oh. We won't hear a thing back. Oh. Huh. But if they're stranded, could they mean they're from outside? They're a preacher? Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, hey you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. Your closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can, and be quick about it. I'm out of fuel. Okay, let's put it in park. There we go. Is there fuel in this car? Oh, no, I have to check my trunk first. Great. <laughs> That's a place for it. Siphon. Okay, this, all this opening is it's just a tutorial. It's all scripted. It's all good. We expect these things. That weird womp sound. There you go. Weird ooze. Oh. Oh, I see. Uh, get it out of park. Turn it on. Ah. Uh, okay, so we gotta get out of here, because it's like radioactive and stuff, and I assume that's really bad for me. Yeah, it's bad. So we have, we need to avoid that stuff. A little slippery. Be. There hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. I don't know if it's my controller or the game, but the car is pulling really hard. To the right. No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Holy cripes! No one's had work and real in here for ages. Boy, I'm killed to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, the preacher needs to get to safety. Then we can look into whether that car is running or not. In my heart, Come on, hearts, reverse. I already reverse. know. Then back, baby. Come on, turn. Oh, God, this thing will not turn around. This is bad. This is really bad. Come on, come on. Find that shelter, go on and let yourself in. I'll be ain't gonna like you poking around in there, but better to face a bad side than let the zone eat you alive. What shelter? This? Is this the shelter you're referring to? Did I make it? I guess so. Because it's tutorial. Okay, that needs a code. I don't know what those weird little clicks and clacky sounds are, but not those. But you know, you you guys know. You've been here. Pick up the backpack. Oh, God. Who's there? What backpack? Oh, oh, this backpack. God, it's been great. <laughs> Hello? It's an emergency broadcast. Hello, uh, attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We sent a preacher to your garage on um, official zone business. Now, we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant. 
which has taken the form of a car, and, well, uh... Oh. Get off the remnant thing. She's not gonna care. Um, uh, right, like I said, super officials own business. Protocol, uh, um. demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I've personally written. That's 10 years and 17 volumes and... Still <sighs> that voice, just like a nail gun to the skull. So, <sighs> another breacher, huh? How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300-meter wall out there for fun? Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Wait, I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing, and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Oh, unfortunately... The barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. You don't know how soft or hard my hands are. I prefer you didn't assume. Alright. Open headset OS. Blueprints. Door. Okay, search the abandoned car. I need a pry bar. Oh, can I rotate this? Hold on. Okay, it's fine. We got duct tape, and then we've got that. Okay, open inventory. Put the pry bar in my hand. And then what is this? Road flares? Yes. Do these stack? Yes. And we have two glass shards. Vehicle log photo? I don't know what the log and photo things are, but ju I'm just gonna go ahead and... Nope. Oh. Sorry, car. I'm still figuring things out. Okay, that's stored. Okay, so... Oh. Okay, that got me some stuff. I'm gonna put that down there for now. Okay, so... Gather items from the abandoned car behind the garage for your checklist. Scrap the abandoned car's wheels and door. How do I do that? Oh wait, do I need... Ah! Cut up his tire. Okay, I'll be I'll be back, guys. Okay, everything on that car we could break down has been broke down, so now we can move on to the workbench. Okay. So we want a crude door, and we now have everything we need for it, so we craft that. And now I have a door. Fix that. Okay, so now we need repair putty. What does this do? Okay, get the repair putty from the locker. Tell me I didn't have to make any. Okay, fine. What is this? Spare tire, a med kit, and some chemicals. Okay. Use the repair putty on structural parts.
Okay. Yeah, you know, if you say so. I guess the hood too. What is, what, why? Log. Log? Yes. Oh, lovely, we have an engine bay. That's good. Okay. Ah, so that's how we log. Okay, repair the flat by crafting and using a ceiling kit or replace the flat with a spare tire found in the locker. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna do this. Oh, okay, so that means that it's not bolted? What is the mechanics kit? Okay, that's a scrapper. It's a one-use thing. Okay, install cardboard boxes in the trunk. There's just okay. There's just a, a quite a bit here install What do these do for me? Craft mat. Okay, this will at least allow me to craft on the go, I'm guessing. Oh, <clears throat> there's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. Okay. And what is this? Just like this beauty won't just be your tour guide. Yeah. It's your north star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the father, son, and holy spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. What is this for? Okay, so that got me something. This is the blueprint for an impact hammer. It's just a lot here. Oh. Use the pump to fill the fuel tank. Okay. In the car with the charging station in the parking bay. Okay, I've already done that. If you're all set, take a look at the projector against the wall. Projector. Oh. This. Select the destination using the map on the wall. This? Oh no, something over there. Okay, but this is the car. Apparently this wheel's not doing so good, so we'll just uh, hit it with a bit of putty. Good as new. Okay, map on the wall. This is the zone. Okay. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does. Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The arc device in your car will then show you where you need to go. Okay. So I'm guessing because we're still in the tutorial, that's going to be... Oh... 
It says three hours. Off you go. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. Find your first route to the zone. Okay. Um. Yeah. I don't know what that did for me. Okay. You know, I, I guess if you, uh, okay, there's some new stuff here. If I do this, what is, what, what are these? What are, what are these things here? Abilities. Okay. We don't have any of those yet. That's new. Uh, it's our condition plus the time. And that just isn't anything. All right. Okay, we kind of upgraded the car a little bit. What is this one? What did I just do? Uh, <laughs> probably should put it in park. All right. Well, I guess we're going this way. Oh yeah, okay. So that's just, that's always north facing, gotcha. What's the, uh, what's the little green ball there? It also says, oh, it says doors are open because we don't have a trunk. Uh, okay, so there is something to this. Oh, okay, yeah, so that is kind of what I thought. So we are, so we're going from point to point. We travel in these points, but then the points between are how we kind of like pass more time. Right? Am I getting that right? Okay, let's put it in park here just so we can take a okay, second. Okay, newbie. I'll keep this simple. Don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. You'll need a few things yes. to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. That's those oh. antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. Okay, so into the wilderness we need to find and scan a generator. And collect materials to craft replacement parts. Alright, let's do it then I guess. The arc device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator, and it'll figure out the tools you need. Okay, I just want to leave that open. Is this the generator? Yes. Ah, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. Okay, impact hammer. That needs a gear and a cylinder. I can only imagine I get those things from here. Those scripts. I told him not to bring his own car. I told him the feds will give him a loaner to cover the rental expense. What does he do? He brings the car. How long does he think it will last? Um... Well, this thing needs to be fixed. Look at you! Out in the zone all on your own! They Jeez. grow so fast, don't they? And I'll be back at the helm! Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd, uh, talk again after that whole hammer. Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What did you finally talk Francis to death? 
Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. Hazmat cabinet. Blueprints. For impact hit. Find those materials by any means necessary. No one's coming back ever again, so go on and take what you need. Transports, homes, outposts, facilities, they've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in 87. Most of those structures won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. So loot to your heart's content. Just loot away. Loot away. Hey, uh, uh, driver. I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now. Oh, can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, their own objects that do all sorts of weird things. They, they bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind, until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... And now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. Ah. Okay. That's uh, probably not good. Ah! Ow! Bed. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, let's move on past here. This is bad. This is just bad. We shouldn't be here. I don't know why I stayed here as long as I did. But it was a mistake. Might as well see what's back here. We're low on shielding. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My car! Hey, wait! No! Hey! Hey, you know what? Nope, it's good. All good. All, all good. I'm, is, is this open? Yep. I'm going in. Going inside. Going inside. It's too bad I can't actually see anything in here otherwise. Maybe... You know, just maybe. But that's fine. It's fine. I don't need to see. All I need to do is move on. Don't forget about that workbench in your car. Use it to slap something together in a pinch. Yeah, I definitely haven't forgotten. Uh, what needs this? Drastically. Front bumper. Bam. There you go. Hood. Alright. Where's that bat? Is up bad? Um. Yeah, let's just not touch that right now. Just gonna go ahead and top off on fuel because we're here. Really do not like hearing the the world moving around me. It's terrible. Okay. Gears. Where do I get gears? I haven't found any gears. Oh, I see. I need another panel. Uh, what do gears take? Okay. Ow. I'm sorry, I can close that on myself? Okay, well, now I know. Tourist. 
Open logbook. Several regions of the zone, and they all have similar... We have these dummy things out in the wilderness and um, inside abandoned houses. We also have them in gas stations, on the road, top of signs, 600 file catalogs on every one. Yeah, I know what happens when someone touches one. Huh? Oh, they are mannequins. Well, we gotta know. I didn't need to know. I, d I didn't think they were going to explode. I probably don't need to engine off at every stop, but I'm gonna. Okay, but they are dummies. What are you? Your fuel barrel. Okay, I, if I had it and I did what I think I did, I should be able to find all that stuff. So. So. Let's turn around and head back up this way. Go back to that one house that I had seen. Okay, I need to avoid you. Get around all these guys, we are touching them. Screw it. Floor it! No. Uh oh, you're faster than I thought. No! 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 Go, let's not get... Ooh, what's that? What, what's that thing? What does that do? What's that telling me? Ooh. What is that? Glittering boulder. Yay, this is on a... I'm totally going so fast right now. No. Oh no. It was happening again. Just collecting some data. Looks like I'm not an engineer or a psych just meteorologist, but my guess is these things are discharging huge amounts of energy. Ah, why did it have to explode? I've got a flare. Cool. I didn't think it was going to explode on me. Okay, I need to avoid you, but I'm not going to be able to. And you're very fast. No! I'm on the brakes! I'm on the brakes! Let me go! Let me go! Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Oh. Hello. Ow. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Close. Ow. 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 Oh, that totally wasn't worth it for what I'm about to do, but I'm gonna do it. 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 Mash plasma generators for materials. Aw, oh, heck yeah. Oh, yeah. Meeting, agenda, celebration of the founding of the SSR. What our future will look like. Address Dr. Ophelia Turner. Open ideation session consultation from Dr. Ophelia Turner on experimental setups, arising concerns, proper safety procedures, handling and protection. Action Item Society agreed regular monthly meetings. Dr. Reginald Stanley Robertson to take notes on format. Interesting. Armed with a bit more understanding of what exactly it is I'm doing. A 
looks like you're near one of the old guerrilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower uh, up on a hill somewhere. Oh, <laughs> my, my. Where are our manners? Uh, driver, we never introduced ourselves. Not really. Tobias Barlow, former Artem maintenance manager. Oh, and um, here with me is Dr. Francis Cook. I was a R&D scientist researching limb technology right here in the zone. We live right in the mid zone. Just, just a hop, skip, and a jump over another big old wall from where you're at. Oh, and, and that old bat over there? That's Dr. Ophelia Tuna, former director of research and development herself. The mother of limb technology, the maven of electromagnetism. That's enough. Resident Party Booper. Time to get moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. But you can't get back the way you came. The instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my arc device comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the arc device display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the arc device to charge it. Oh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. I still want to know what I was doing up here. What? Y'all be like... Look, I, I keep thinking, the way you're helping our friend here right now seems positively helpful. I seems like me. You're looking to turn a new leaf or something? The only thing I want to look at is a 12-year-old whiskey. And the back of this breacher's head when I sent them packing. But isn't it worth taking a detour to run just a tiny kind of little real. test? Can't Hello? think of a worse way to spend my time. Please. I've seen you manipulate waveforms with your right hand and knock back a double with your left. Or am I to understand you've <laughs> lost your touch? What I'm understanding is that you won't shut the hell up until I test this remnant. <laughs> yep. Fine, stop crowding my frequency. What? Wait, really? Arpy, darling, you never give in this easily. What's what's going on? Francis? Uh, y yes? How have you not thrown him to the bunnies by now? <laughs> 80 years old and only getting sharper by the day. You're a legend. You're a role model. I'm giving you 10 seconds to get out of my... Okay, okay, uh, we're signing off. Hey, driver, good luck out there. Uh, and watch out for the bunnies. They are a doozy. What does that mean? <laughs> Those anchors may look like glowing balls of magic, but it's limb tech through and through. Don't be scared. They haven't exploded in anyone's face. Recently. device is charged and ready. You'll use it to open a gateway back to the garage, but it will immediately collapse the stability around you. So only activate when you're absolutely ready to leave. You do not want to get caught in the storm that follows. What the hell? You see that glowing pillar into the sky? Drive into it. Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so um, much better than getting scrambled by the instability. Help. This is bad. This is bad. Um. Okay. I, I can't. <laughs> I can't drive. Just really bad timing with this one. Well, ah. oh, this is bad. Okay, come on, 
Come on. Okay, okay, let's go. Come on. What is that sound? Why is the door open? No, don't get out, you mo! You mo! You mo! Mo, 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 mo! I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. This is where I die. I didn't think it would mean that I had to activate it on top of it. This is all on me. Oh, the weather's getting bad, I think. If it's an incline, if this is... Yeah, I'm dead. I'm so dead. There's no way. No chance in hell. Why is it out in the middle of absolutely nowhere? Okay, we're here. Oh, that's really down. That's really, really down. This is where I'm going, right? Okay. that gateway would. Hmm. Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, they're the rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. But anyway, it worked. So, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the only way to get back with all your models intact. Now, take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie. But it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place. Mess up my equipment and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. We clear? Yeah, crystal. Wow, I am amazing. Antenna signals coming through loud and clear. Give it a moment to initialize. Make sure to empty One. your trunk before heading back out. You'll need the space. <laughs> oh, I see. You're just throwing things at me. verification a one and done thing I'm sending you to visit colossal cappy if that old anomaly doesn't induce electromagnetic resonance in your car then we're free from Tobias's fever dreams and we can get you out of here with that antenna fixed you can now detect stabilized road junctions in the outer zone you've got a stable route heading straight to cappy's front door but the energy readings are off the roof I advise you not to take the zone lightly you better gear up or you may not survive the trip which would make my life easier, so... Your call. My favorite remnant was... The record player. You remember Francis? You, you play records normally, but then... Every now and then you hear weird voices. Like that one time it was my fifth grade lunch lady. Uh, this again. Uh, you know, the sooner I get this out of my system, the sooner you can have some peace and quiet. <sighs> Fine. Hey, had a girl? Oh, boy. Hey, driver, listen. Of all the legends, of all the stories that have spawned in the zone, <laughs> trust me, there are so many. Remnants? One of the best. I'll start from the beginning. <clears throat> in 1964, yeah, strange objects right. began mm. appearing throughout the zone. They were uh, shabby, cast off things that were imbued with strange properties. Uh, a broken microwave that froze food instead of warming it. A rusty can of paint that produced every color in existence. Always so out of place that people were irresistibly drawn to them. 
Yeah, you know, like a mysterious car in the forest, right? Tobias mentioned that the remnants bind themselves to people, like the cars done with you, and how that led to obsession. These obsessions always started innocently. A, a, a sudden interest in model train sets, collecting old road signs. The objects themselves would exhibit anomalous properties, but what didn't in the zone, right? That in itself wasn't cause for alarm. But these fixations would only grow worse until its victims could think of nothing else but the remnant. And they always ended with spiraling into madness and disappearing in a mad chase after something. Sorry, driver, it doesn't sound fun. Better to know what you're up against. Could the Remnant's victims still be out there somewhere? I mean, we never heard from them again, but it doesn't mean they all died, right? If the madness didn't kill them, then the zone did. <laughs> anyway, it's been 20 years since the last Remnant sighting. We thought they were long gone. Until you found the car. I wonder if you're already feeling the Remnant's effects, driver. Have you been fixating on the car, maybe? If only we knew where Remnants came from. Then we'd have a place to start on how to help you. This is no typical anomaly. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. The anomalies we know, they're creepy, crawly, and weird. Like v visible manifestations. The Remnants were the only ones that wormed its way into your brain. There's something much, much more. President Koch. The American people are no scientific coach. With a raw power like lab technology in the good hands of true patriots like Dr. Ophelia Turner, the potential is limitless. On this day, we welcome our Faraday future. Why'd the music kick up like that? The year is 1955. Dr. Ophelia Turner is standing next to President Koch, the top of her head barely clearing his shoulder. She stands, stiff backed, her hazel eyes affixed on the glass and steel chamber in front of her. She does not appear to breathe until a ball of light appears out of thin air. The sight is tremendous. A lightning bolt frozen mid-strike and the reaction immediate. The gathering audience roars with excitement and spontaneous applause. On Dr. Turner, only a tightening of her lips indicates that she hears the audience at all. Dr. Turner and President Koch pose for a picture, and she does not smile even then. That picture is the image splashed across newspapers and science journals for the next decade. The mother of limb technology, they called her. The angel of a new age. The newspapers at that time laid the titles on thick while peddling the impending utopia. Then she recedes into the bowels of a government research facility. She's never seen again in public. There are scant appearances here and there in blink and you miss it promotional videos and blatant propaganda fodder. And then she and the promise of Lynn technology disappear. Um. Never wanted to think about this place ever again. Edgar Town, Colossal Cappy is smack dab in the middle of where Sierra used to be. You can't miss it. Oh, how could I not? How could I not? Got a little bit of damage on our rear hatch. Not a big deal. Look at all the stuff here, uh, Is though. there a reason you're driving straight towards the largest honking anomaly in the zone? You wanted to know if there's a speck of remnant energy in that car, this is how you do it. You're using Cappy to amplify the remnant signal, that's insane! Driver, are you sure about this? Well, they'll be fine. It's not fine! Look at those radiation spikes that Colossal Cappy's still giving off after all these years. To achieve any sort of resonance, the driver's going to have to get right up against Cappy. I get you, Francis, Cappy? but Oppie's got a point. Any remnant energy lingering in the car is too weak to detect with conventional methods. Really? You're gonna take her side? This isn't about sides. That's a good plan. I won't risk someone's life just so we can log another remnant sighting. A driver can make their own decision. I'm not forcing them to do anything. 
And for all I care, they can lay down and wait until the instability takes them. That would get them out of my hair much faster than all of these shenanigans. I've got a... The battery is about to die. Which is why we're just heading straight for it. Oh, no response. Maybe you need to get closer to Cappy's core way up there. Can you find a way to high ground? I can't see anything. Okay, that wasn't good. That was bad. What's that sound? Drive to the bridge. Okay. I think that's this way. I, I really can't see anything. Even the lights aren't really helping. Okay, there's been a lot of random damage to the car now. Which is great. But I, I think we're on the right track. Just maybe don't run those guys over again. I wasn't trying to in the first place, but you know, it happened. It's all Arad's fault. Arad? The company, right? The company was called Arad. Yeah, Arad. I didn't do that. Mm. Car's still not close enough to Cappy. What now? How about uh... launching the car into Cappy's core? I, 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 I'm sorry. What? No, it's simple. The driver jumps the car into the heart of the anomaly, and if I time it right, I'll open the gateway and extract them. And if you don't, I've run some calculations. I think it should be fine. Anyway, it's like they always say. What's an experiment without some risk of total annihilation? Who says that exactly? In no way, shape, or form should we be doing this. Well, but you know, if it's the only way, yeah, you got this kit for it. All right, here we go. Placing my staff. Oh, that's what they're for. They give a boost. I'm going so fast. You know, that makes sense now. Unfortunately, what they've been saying is true. The remnants drive their victims mad. Maybe that car, having sat dormant for this long, will give you a little more time. I'm sorry, I don't have better news for you. I'm still game to get you out of here. The faster you leave, the longer you'll have to enjoy the rest of your sanity. Thanks, None of the God. routes you've mapped so far leads to a way out. Why don't you head back out and chart some more? can get in touch with Tobias and Francis while you're out there. Well, I think with that, I should probably call it here. Um, I'm not sure if this will be a stream game or a more in-depth playthrough. It'll probably be a stream. So, uh, with that said, I guess wait for tomorrow's thumbnail. Bye, guys. Holy moly, holy moly, are you kidding me right now? Oppie, you saw it too, didn't you? Tell me you saw it too. Saw what? What do you mean, what? Hallucinations! Like the ones from 1961! It happened again, just a quick blip, like blinking your- Wait, you didn't see it? I was in a total blackout. Colossal Cappy fried my systems. Right, because sending the driver headfirst into Cappy didn't work out like you said it would. Big surprise. Oh, spare me, Francis. The driver's alive and your remnants verified. Isn't that all you wanted? Now, why are you two 
yapping about the mass hallucination. When Cappy amplified the remnant signal, it triggered another hallucination event. But it only lasted three seconds this time. And then not only that, we picked up that its source was northwest of us. Specifically, yeah, somewhere in the deep zone. <sighs> That's impossible. It's been 40 years. And that's not all. This hallucination wave that triggered... We picked up its waveform, and it turns out it's equal and opposite to the remnant's waveform. They're paired signals. It means they're related. And, and, and what's more, if we bring that car to whatever this mass hallucination source is, we have a chance of nullifying the remnant and breaking its bond with the driver. A simple destructive interference. <laughs> this is insane! After all this time, we find a remnant, uh, lean on the mass hallucinations of 61, and a possible way to free the driver? Pinch me, Francis, because this is the best thing that's happened in decades. Just when things were getting dull. The remnants. It was key to the mass hallucination. This whole time. Yes, and you nearly destroyed it. <clears throat> I... I need to go. This is you, Francis! We have so much work to do! I know, I've already pulled every report on the mass hallucination event. Uh, driver, listen, you stay safe out there. We'll report back to you once we've gone through all of this data. <laughs> There's a lot of it. And, 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 and be careful. Oppie's not in her right mind, okay? So, uh, watch yourself. Okay. If this works, I'll be able to spend it and feel no complaint. And then be able to be quite there, you know. Make them safe. Might want to keep one around for the pet. Get kind of lonely around here. Alicia heard the rat of it struggling before she saw it. It screamed loud and pleasantly human like. They echoed through the dimly lit forest. And all the time, passing through the thick brush that filled the dark spaces between the trees. And then, small clearing, she saw the gray hooded creature. Trapped beneath several dead branches. Lucian knelt and reached forward through the sticks, intending to free the rabbit. She grabbed a soft flame. She felt the wind to her neck. The rabbit was filled with the light and alarm. The little pulled gently, but the creature was stuck firmly against the ground. It screamed, drilling into her head. She pulled harder. It was a clang sound. Like a bad ghost had made it, they got it clean clean. She could see what appeared to be translucent vines crashing on the earth where the rabbit was trapped. A few were milky white, but several were bright red, spilling crimson drops from their tips. Several more strands were dangling from underneath the now silent big and got it. Were the trees feeding on this animal? Hello, this is Zap, and it's time for a special version of Zap's Douglas Furrier Knowledge Tree Facts. This specific segment is here purely to address a series of written correspondences I've had with a certain Dr. Cocker, and I use the term doctor with the greatest of air quotes. Dr. Cocker, to you and to all who have somehow been unfortunate enough to hear your lectures on biology, I must set the record straight. What is and is not a plant it is strictly determined by scientific process, photosynthesis, reproductive systems, and the categorization of cellular makeup. It is not determined by whether or not the thing has eyeballs. What a truly preposterous suggestion. Just because a bird has eyes does not make it not a plant. What of worms, what of jellyfish, or even the Mississippi River? Your infantile claims are doing nothing more than to further sink the credibility of this peninsula into absurdity and myth, and I will have nothing of it. Good day. And to everyone else, stay safe, keep your eyes on the trail, and leave the forest as you found it. I owe you an apology. I screwed up. I nearly got you killed. The things I used to calculate as easily as turning a screwdriver, they're foggy now. The numbers don't work themselves out like they used to. I haven't been myself for a long time, but I haven't needed to be. It's been me and this cursed place I created and nothing else for decades. But now, knowing that whatever caused the mass hallucination is still out there, I need to know what it is and why the remnants are connected to it. Francis was right about the remnant and the mass hallucination's paired signals. If we can get them together, maybe they'll cancel each other out and you'll be free. 
It's a shaky theory at best, but it's the only lead we've got for now. You can do nothing and twiddle your thumbs until that remnant drives you mad. Or, if you're willing to work with me, I'll give you the best chance to survive this thing. Think it through. And fix up your car while you're doing it. You'll need to for whatever you decide from here. Are you making use of my fabrication station to fix up that chunker? You should while I'm still in the mood to allow it. And there's the test track behind the garage. If you need to take anything to a spin. <laughs> 